Ah, uh, wait, the goat. Come on, walk faster, walk with the purpose. Don't you understand, you stupid goat? You're going to die. Go, be free. Hello there. Five, four, three. Where am I? The vault. Just make sure to close the portal after May goes through. Whoa, place is cool. Oh, uh, let me introduce you to the vault. Close it already, close it! What just happened? You just went through the portal. Wait, where are we? This is ridiculous. This man shouldn't even be alive. Same goes for the goat. Yeah, but that's not even the best part. The best part is that we've been stuck inside this cave never to see the light of day because they didn't want us to know the fact that we are not safe. Just know, when I was out there, I saw a small, innocent village on the other side of that plateau. You know how? Because we're still in the overworld. Which means the void will eventually get here and consume us all. How is that even possible? We went through the artificial portal. Oh, how is this possible? Look around you, Ben. How is any of this possible? I want you to take a moment to let this all sink in. We are all going to die to some stupid void that no one knows the purpose of or how it even exists. Everything gone. Just like that. Well, some of that may not be true. Oh, now what? Blackstone and I were the reason for the corruption of the void. Why am I not surprised? Is this true? Answer the question. Yes. Okay, that's it. I don't know about y'all, but I'm not gonna let this psychopath tell me what to do. We need somebody else to lead us. And do what? You said it yourself. The Void is gonna eventually make its way over here and take us all out like it did to everyone else. The best thing I could do was to make this vault that may be able to shield us from the Void, but honestly, I doubt it'll work. And even if it would work, we would die from starvation at the rate we're going right now. Well, what are we supposed to do? Well, Jerry did mention a village near here. We can warn the people about the Void, and maybe they can help us grow crops in return for providing them protection. That's a horrible idea. What makes you think we can take care of them if we can't even take care of ourselves? This is our only option at this point. I say that's a good idea. I mean, I stayed there for a week and the locals are pretty nice. Dude, I gotta be honest, I totally forgot you were even here until now. Everyone always does. Were you even listening to this whole conversation? I only remember something of well, actually, no. No, I wasn't listening. Guys, that's not the point. Whoever wants to go with me to warn the villagers, gear up. Mike, stop this madness. There's nothing we can do to help those villagers, and you know that. You're not in charge anymore. Come on, let's go Assistant 345. Sad. Not even your own pet is loyal to you anymore. The Sheriff is waiting for us at the entrance. 
So here we are again. It's like deja vu, isn't it? It's just a matter of, will you make the same decision that you did last time that practically ruined the chances of the fate of humanity? Or will you not make the same mistake ever again? What are you doing? Why did you let him out? He has more knowledge about the village than any of us do combined. It only makes sense if he comes with us. Alright then. 